some of these problems if you are stuck and want to work through them a little bit with me. So let's look at the first problem and let's highlight where this arrow is. It is just right there. I know it's a little hard to see, but when we do quantum numbers, remember our first number is going to be N for our principal energy level. N is going to be along our Y axis and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and go all the way up to seven, just like our periodic table does. Here, when we look at this, we see that our arrow is in the principal energy level of two. So N is going to equal two here. Then I look at my L, my angular momentum. It is either going to be a zero if it's in an S, a one if it's in a P, a two if it's in a D, or a three if it's in an F. And so because when I look at this, it is in a P, that means my L or my angular momentum will be a one. And then remember M refers to which orbital it is in. So if it's just S, there's only a zero. When I look at P, the middle one is a zero or D, the middle one is a zero or F, the middle one is also a zero. And then I count just as I would on a number line negative one to the left, positive one to the right, or if I'm doing my D, negative one, negative two, positive one, positive two, and if I were looking at my F, I'd go negative one, negative two, negative three, and then positive one, positive two, positive three. And you might be wondering why am I doing the positives as I go along. I'm just doing the positives because it makes it kind of more obvious or it emphasizes things. So when I look at my problem here, I see I'm in the middle orbital. So that means M is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna look at my S is my spin positive, meaning my arrow is up, or negative, meaning my arrow was down. Here my arrow is up. So S is going to be plus one half. That means when I go to write my quantum number, I'm gonna have two, comma one, comma zero, comma positive, one half. And I'm gonna keep doing that as I go through my problems here. My second problem, here's my arrow, it's pointing down. N is one, two, three, it's in my third principal energy level. Uh, remember I go zero, one, two, three, for my angular momentum or my L. It is in P again, so it's gonna be one. And then which of my orbitals is it in? Zero, negative one, or positive one? Now it is in positive one, so I'm gonna put positive one for M. And it is pointing down, so it's going to be negative one half. That means when I write my quantum number for this electron, it is three comma one comma positive one, comma negative one half. Let's keep going. Here is my arrow. That means identify this electron. Okay, again, I got one, two, three, four for my principal energy level. It means it's gonna be four and it's zero, one, two. It's in D, so L is equal to two. And is it zero? It can be plus one or plus two or negative one or negative two. And I notice it's in the middle, so it's zero. And then the arrow is pointing up, so it is positive one half. So my quantum number here is four comma two comma zero comma positive one half. Okay, um, here is my arrow on this one. Maybe you wanna take a second, since we've done a couple together, to go ahead and take this time, pause the video, see if you can get the answer correct on your own. Okay, here's your answer. Four, because it's in one, two, three, four, principal energy level, zero, one, two, L is equal to two, it's in zero plus one, so M is plus one. 
and it is down, so it is negative one half, and my quantum number would be four, two, positive one, negative one half. Okay, again, go ahead and pause your video. See if you can identify that one on your own. We'll see the answer here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, N is five, zero, one, two, three, L is three, and here would be um, zero plus one plus two plus three, M is plus three, and S is negative one half since it is down, so it would be five, three, positive three, negative one half. Let's do our next problem. Here's my arrow. You take a second to see if you can figure it out. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and is six, zero, one, two, two, zero plus one plus two, so it's in minus one, and it is pointing up, so it is positive one half. And here we are on our last one. Here's our arrow. Again, take a second, see if you can do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and is five, zero, one, two, three, L is three, zero, negative one, negative two, negative two, and it's up, so it is positive one half. So that's five, three, negative two, positive one half. Looks like I forgot to write the quantum number on the one before, so let's go ahead and do that. Six, two, negative one, positive one half. All right, we did the whole worksheet there.